Alléluia, Alléluia, Alléluia. Me, O the King, will come, the Lord of all the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher, a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then an astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. What is being described in the first reading from Isaiah is the desert which is impassable is going to become passable. It's really referred to as the second exodus, that when God brought the people out of slavery from Egypt, they went through the desert. And you know the desert is a very harsh place. There's no food. There's no water and no protection. And so if you listen closely, the promise of the Lord through the prophet is that there will be water. There will be protection. And what is impassable is going to become passable. Now, you see in the gospel, this man who is paralyzed, he can't walk. He cannot do anything for himself. And so they lower him through the roof in front of Jesus. And Jesus is amazed at the faith of the people who lower him through the roof. And says to the man who's paralyzed, get up. Get up and walk. So it took faith for the people who lowered them down in front of Jesus to do that. But it took as much faith for the man who laid there paralyzed to get up and walk. It's the same kind of faith that what God is speaking through the prophet Isaiah that the people are going to be brought out of exodus, out of slavery again from Babylon, into freedom, and that they are going to pass through the desert, that what is impassable is going to become passable. So when the Lord calls them and says, come, 
That's you and me. That's each of us. You see, because when we pay more attention to what's going on out there, we develop a lot of anticipation, a lot of fear, a lot of skepticism, and we pull back. And the Lord is calling us and says, come. Come. Do we have that kind of faith? This is what we're waiting for at Christmas time. You see, the scripture says this morning, and there was a beautiful line that says, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. The power of the Lord was with him to heal. In other words, it was that same power that made what was impassable, passable. It's the same power that, would be, that is able to make what is impossible, possible. In your life and in mine. 